Final 160 kilometers to run for NASA Alatir then. He drove neat and tidy to bring his Toyota Hilux to the finish line and take the 2022 Dakar title. It was, uh, it was amazing uh, Dakar for us and uh, last win it was 2019 and uh, yeah we are quite happy you know with the new regulation and uh, uh, with the new T1 plus and uh, uh, three different uh, teams uh, strong uh, it's possible anyone can win here you know but uh, we did a good job uh, me and Matthew, the teams, uh, always we are in good uh, shape from beginning of Dakar and uh, yeah, we are quite happy, you know, thank for everybody, thank for all the support, thank, you know, for uh, who who support us, you know, for to, to win this Dakar. This was very important for me because uh, it's here in our region, you know, and uh, I'm so happy. Sam Sunderland came into today just under seven minutes clear of Pablo Quintanilla on the Honda and was chasing his second career Dakar title. By kilometre 39, it was all looking good for the British rider who started second on the road. With nothing to risk and time in hand, Sunderland ploughed on, eventually finishing the stage three and a half minutes down on Quintanilla, but it was enough to confirm the win. Sunderland taking his second Dakar title and the first ever for Gas Gas. He has been untouchable this year, his strategy perfect and his riding peerless. The 32-year-old from Poole in the United Kingdom, your winner in the bikes. Just waiting for them to tell me something, you know, I just, I knew I did the stage not too bad, but yeah, I don't even know what to say, dude, it's so stressful and I, in one side, I'm so happy, and every time I hear someone say you won, I'm super happy, but then, phew, I don't know, my head is exploded, you know? So good. Pablo Quintanilla took second overall this year, while Matthias Volkner was the leading KTM rider, adding another podium finish to his Dakar tally. Four altogether now. It was another strong year for the Austrian rider. Yeah, it feels really, really good. I'm super pumped and excited. Um, it was a really hard Dakar. Um, um, like this, maybe I say, after every Dakar. But the navigation this year was really like, again, on another level. And I really try to stay away from, from big mistakes. But we saw every day is changing so much time. Sometimes you, lean, you win 10, 15 minutes, sometimes you lose it. And also the last day, um, I had a lot of pressure on myself because it looks like an easy day on the paper, but was so difficult and had the navigation, especially after the first 60, 65 Ks, I saw already, wow, it's, it's, it's going to be really tough 160 Ks. But finally, we, we made it to the finish line. I'm super happy and excited to give the team also a little bit back for this to say thank you they make a really really amazing job especially the last couple of months with with upgrading and testing the, the new bike finally it works really really good and yeah it's, it's cool to be back on the podium after two not not so easy years especially in Dakar where I didn't have the luck on my side but now we are we are back and yeah now I will really enjoy the moment Dmitry Sotnikov chasing his second Dakar title in a row began today's final stage over eight minutes clear of his teammate Eduard Nikolev. It was Sotnikov who reigned supreme, taking the win and marking Kamaz's 19th Dakar victory in the trucks. We're very glad and unbelievable that we can do it. Uh, we could do it uh, the second time. We built a new truck and presented for the new factory. It was important to do it with the new truck. For for me, it was a big challenge for us. Thank you, guys. Thank you who cheer for us. Early favourite Seth Quintero was ruled out of the overall Dakar win on stage two after suffering mechanical issues and picking up 10 hours of penalties. What he did after that was focus on winning stages and the young American broke the record for winning the most on a single Dakar. Looks like we ended up getting our 12th win of the, of the rally. And uh, yeah, obviously it's, it's amazing, but I'm also a little, little bummed out just because we're not in the overall, but we won just about every single stage. So it's been uh, quite the ride. Overall, though, it was experience that paid off. And Francesco Lopez Contado, who has led the category since stage two, crossed the line to win his third career Dakar title.
here every day. I need the pushing for the, the victory or for the, the, the winner. No too much problem every day uh, for my, my car or navigation. No too much, no, no too much time for the every day for the final lap. It's very important for the, the, the winner for the, this race.